Hello, lurkers. And hello, you archaeologists. I'm the John Struct. I'm having... Tales of Pisaria Adventure. Let's continue our game, shall we? Ah, oh, it's the home of old beliefs, Haria. Pizaria. In your Haria. So it's a bit bit of a spot of rap there. Bit of the old rap game. Um I just need to click on something off screen. There we go, that's what I need to do. No, no, I don't I don't wanna say I'm a, I'm a pirate. Um Oh yeah, one thing I was gonna do. Uh, I was just gonna put these actually in their pirate suits. I uh, hang on. No, that one. It's uh, there's a little much, but it is more piratey, and I don't know. This one doesn't even look piratey though. But we'll keep them on theme. He's got the hat. I might change it back after the two hours. I'm like to do, or maybe try out a different costume. Uh, anyway, what are we doing? Um, uh, head to Palamedes in the island's interior. Which, uh, which, uh, which is um, within this direction? Possibly requires me to be. Above? No, I don't think it does. Who are you? The innkeeper's daughter. I just... I happened to overhear you all talking about going to Palamedes and... Did you report us to the Abbey? Report? But you already have an exorcist with you. If you have any business, talk with her then. I... I'm Eleanor Hume, an exorcist with the Abbey. How might I be of service? I want you to look for someone. A mother and her child went to visit the Abbey grounds, but they haven't returned. They've both gone missing? Yes. The mother's name is Mahina. She's a priestess of Amanoch. And her little daughter's name is Kamoana. Hold on. If she's a priestess of Amanoch... Right. Ever since the Abbey booted her out from the temple, she's been regularly going back to make her objections heard. But one day, she never returned home. And now her daughter has disappeared too. I can only assume that she went to go look for her mother. And you believe they're being held at the temple? Oh no, ma'am. I just... I just can't imagine Mahima would abandon her daughter like that. Kamuana is next in line to succeed her, so she's had a strict upbringing, but her mother truly loves her. Please forgive Mahina for her protests. I was just hoping you could use the Abbey's resources to track them down. I will do everything in my power to find them. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Like Kamuana, I grew up with only my mother as family. I can't help but worry for them. Mother! Of course. Let's be off, Miss Exorcist. Yes. I just want to double check. Not that. That is pirate style. I, you know, I guess it could be a Japanese pirate. I don't know what they look like. Um, I mean, these aren't what pirates actually look like, but we all recognise this as pirate clothing. Eleanor, 
What's your game here? The mother and daughter, you mean? That's on me. I'll search for them myself. I don't care about that. Well, what then? Why are you actively helping us decipher the book when we're using it to thwart the Abbey's plans? You think I might be deliberately misleading you? Laying a trap of some sort for you all? Are you? I think you're a lot of things, demon. But foolish is not one of them. <clears throat> I want to know the truth. I want to know what Lord Artorius is trying to accomplish. And there's something happening in the world right now. I want to know what it is. Unfortunately, little old Eleanor has never been deemed trustworthy enough to be given such information. So, my only option is to find out for myself. Try and keep my mustache as piratey as possible. At least. The Abbey and your band of rogues follow two different paths. But something tells me either will lead me to the same destination. And so you don't see any need to lie to us? Exactly. And what'll you do if those truths don't line up cleanly with what you believe? I'm not sure yet. As honest an answer as any. Either way, it looks like you'll be working with us for the near future. Yes, for now. Hey, could I ask you something? What is it? About the Therians. I've heard you call yourself a Therian before. Is there any particular insight you have about them? No, none. Artorius said I was one, that's all. And that doesn't bother you? Yeah, Does that's... it bother you? I don't remember that plot point. Not at all. If you're not worried, then neither am I. I'm surrounded by freaks. Oh, Therian. That makes you one of... But was that truly the reason Ceres chose me? There's only eight of them in the world, and one of them's a bug, and... Velvet keeps picking on Madame Eleanor. They're total opposites, so I know they're just gonna clash sometimes, but Velvet takes it too far. You really think they're totally opposite? If Madame Eleanor is a white lily, then Velvet is a black rose. If Madame Eleanor is a soaring pegasus, then Velvet is a wolf in the shadows. If Madame Eleanor is a plate of spaghetti carbonara, Velvet is squid ink noodles with seaweed. I don't follow you completely, but I think I get the point. <laughs> I'm sure you understand. The two have nothing at all in common. And since they don't share anything in common, some fighting now and then just can't be helped. Well, they both have beautiful hair. Okay, but we're talking a noble exorcist and an aloof demon. Eleanor sometimes treats you coldly. And Velvet has helped me more times than I can count. Madam Eleanor gives herself fully to the salvation of others. But Velvet is bent solely on revenge. That means they're both motivated by thoughts of others. How is the cheerful and talkative Madam Eleanor at all the same as the brooding, taciturn Velvet? Both of them talk to me when it's just the two of us together. You're just trying to be contrary. I'm only telling you what I've experienced. <laughs> Actually, I feel that Madam Eleanor isn't really reaching out to me. It's all right if Eleanor doesn't want to talk to you. I'm here for you, Bienfu. You aren't alone. That just makes me feel lonelier, <laughs> You two are opposites yourselves. Huh? Alright, I think I might have liked that conversation. I still hate Bienfu, and it was still weird in anime, but like, it, or, it, I, I, I also dislike that they can't help but use descriptive, ah, oh, she's brooding and taciturn. That's not how people describe people they know, you know what I mean? Like, ah, oh, she's always in a mood. You know, you, you, you don't, people, when talking about friends or people in a little group, don't talk like they're doing item descriptions. They don't abbreviate that efficiently. That's weird. People don't talk like that. Um, but I do appreciate the game saying, oh, these two aren't so different um, by illustrating it and almost not saying it out loud. They did, you know, the um, the old... Um, what's the button I've got? I know. That one. Um... The, uh, we're not so different, you and I, 
but done. Uh, I was also kind of amused by the idea that they the, they clearly wasn't around. The pictures were clearly just for illustrative purposes. But it, for a brief second, I didn't know that, and so I thought Bianco was just talking about them behind the back. Uh, Am I gonna die? Oh, I did die. Ugh. I... It's just gonna be quicker to load my game. Fucking violent birds over here. I'm glad I saved my game. Rock. Considering they demolished us, we're doing a lot better now, somehow. Oh, hang on, it swapped him out. How the fuck did you swap out? Wouldn't let me swap them anymore. Maybe it wouldn't. Ugh. How are you doing so well? How did they demolish like two of my people and somehow the rest are fine? do anything but be ganked by a bird um Ellen Gonna pick up all these baubles. I think we missed one of the things, didn't we? Let's get cracking. I mean, let's not. Where did those fucking birds come from? Let's <laughs> go. 
poor Dumpus. Who named you? Counter against a bunch of dumpers. The least wary situation I can possibly imagine. I'll cut down anyone in my way. I'm sorry, snakes. Buddy, we're constantly fine. Could you not pull out the good stuff just immediately? I don't know which way is the right way. Hmm. Do these come back? Oh, look, it's a kraken. Right, if these come back, just one chest. Did I open that chest? No, they fought ahead. Because that would have been a good farming spot. I mean, I assume it's timed. But yeah, that was a nice small area with lots of them in. Shame. Right. We shall go north. Get our revenge on that bird. Wangi. Omoeta. Little more brain gay. Whatever. Uh, it's a pretend word anyway. Um. This is for earlier, you damn birds. Oh man, if, if you were anywhere near where those attacks landed, you would have been so in danger right now. I left that at home! Along with my socks! Yeah! Didn't really think that through, but she can't tell if she's wearing socks and I don't want to dwell on the point. Um. I needed an inanimate object, and that was the first thing that came to mind. Um. Uh, is she anything? Tails, I don't need to even know what that's for. Uh, I assume crafting, like everything else. Um, maybe we'll talk to a shopkeeper and find out. Oh, never mind that. We have to get cracking. Leave us alone, birds. I'm sorry. All that smack I, I spoke earlier it was lies. I appreciate you, birds. Okay, they've gone. Aha, I was lying. I like you, birds, but I don't don't appreciate you specific birds. That would be a shot, they can't hear me. Kraken! Aw, oh, he turned at the last second. Oh, 
God. It's because we just have his pirates. It's perfect. No, you're not allowed to do that to me. Don't button. I've forgotten how to heal. Uh, please don't let me die. to use your attacks. That was a, a terrible transition. Grab, give, let me have the thingy! Yeah, I got the thingy! Let me heal. Bust it on one of that. Tougher than I would have liked. I would have liked it not tough at all. Express pendant. Oh yeah, we're a little weaker because we uh, started using the rarity items rather than the most powerful ones, so we can upgrade them. Which is what I should have been doing all along. And we I'd be the Kraken, little dumpy. So, you know, I'd be careful if I were you. Hmm, I do want those things there. Don't mind me, just come through. No birds! Well, I want none of this. Oh, we left one, but it's fine. As mm. Rocky Shore just keeps going, just don't step on any sea slugs, okay? Why not? What's the big deal? It's just that it isn't pretty. Their insides squish everywhere. Yikes. That sounds pretty traumatizing. Then again, if you pickle their innards, it makes for a great snack. You eat them? Oh, don't be a baby. You've had worse. Forget the sea slugs. Try not to step on the coral. Good point. Coral is alive and needs our protection. Or maybe it's because some of it can be sold for jewelry. I didn't mean either of those reasons. Although Manon appears similar to Maclear Beach, it was formed by a completely different process. Now that you mention it, this area is covered by rocks. Maclear is just your average seashore. But Manon here was made by the slow corrosion of seaside caves. 
they were worn away by the waves? That too. But mainly, it was the handiwork of a rock-eating species of coral, known as ravening table coral. Stay in contact long enough, and they'll melt your flesh right off. <laughs> ah, so that's why it tangles every time I touch the coral. Why didn't you warn us earlier? <laughs> no snake! Uh, okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see what's up. Uh, I guess we'll check the map. Hmm. What's down? for Naga to hang out with snakes. Ooh. Naga came here. Naga, I'm trying to collect stuff right now. I don't want to piss off every animal in this small little area. I like that you can see chests in different areas, though. There's Murdius earrings. Get them all. Cool. Now we can go to the next place. So it's been very quiet then. Uh, I was just thinking, I do actually really love the sort of the Disney, because pirates obviously didn't look like this at all. But, um, and we get it from. Lappy said, have you been taking care of that rhino stagros like a good boy? Of course. I make sure to feed it every night before I go to sleep, since it's nocturnal. How long are you going to keep on calling it a rhino stagros? I don't know. It's a new kind of beetle. So it's going to be hard to tell if it's really a rhino or a stag. You're asking a lot of questions. Bienfu, do you like bugs? Duh! I love rhinoceros and stag beetles both! What guy doesn't find them fascinating? Right? So which kind of beetle do you think it is? Rhino or stag? Oh, that's a tough question. But guess what? Miss Mogilu taught me a surefire way to tell. I didn't know there was a way to tell. Yeah, but if I do it, you gotta name it after me, all right? Uh... Come on! What guy doesn't wish he had a cool bug named after himself, right? And besides, Miss Mogilu told me that this technique is so good that it's only fair to have a bug named after you in return. Shouldn't we name it after Magalu then? Say, man to man. Come on, let's live the dream! Oh, all right. How can I say no to that? Besides, we all did work together to capture it anyway. Yay! Thanks, Sloppy Set. All right, show me the bug, and I'll tell you what it is. Miss Mogilu says you need to open up its outer wings and get a good whiff of the thin underwings. Uh, I'm pretty sure I remember rhinoceros and stag beetles smelling really nasty under their wings. Is it really that bad? Why not find out for yourself? Uh, no thanks. I think I'll pass. Maybe you shouldn't do this after all, Bianco. Feels like the beetle wouldn't appreciate that. You probably just want to hog the name all to yourself. Well, too bad! A real man never goes back on his word. 
If it packs a mean punch, then it's a rhinoceros beetle. And if it smells really zesty, then it's a stag beetle. I don't know about this. Just let him do it, Lafayette. He's already volunteered. I can do this. Just you watch. <laughs> like he's having a bad dream was it zesty no i guess it wasn't zesty <laughs> i spy with my little eyes a kiddo who's spying at my bewitching waist oh sorry i just couldn't help it what are those books anyway oh that's a great question since you asked i'll reveal the secrets of my tomes just for you on the right, I've got my household ledger in the back, and my magic encyclopedia in the front. That one I mostly use for oil blotting paper. What's oil blotting paper? It's a girl thing. The two on the left Whoa. are my heavy book, which I use for flower pressings, and then my super pop-up book. A super pop-up book? When you open it, it pops out with the force of a raging river! When an enemy has me cornered, I can just open it up facing a nearby wall and pop! Instant getaway! The only downside is that it's a real pain to try to get closed again, so I haven't used it in years. What about the book right in front? That's actually Lair Cake. Whoa, really? Seared into its batter are precious bits of knowledge. Eating it is just as good for your brain as it is for your stomach. Wow, I had no idea that was possible. He's taking this so seriously, I almost feel bad. All of your books are so interesting, Moggy Lou. That's really cool. There's no end to your curiosity, is there? What do you say? Want to take a closer look? Boy, would I. If you really do, then say, Moggy Lou, I want to get to know you better. Moggy Lou, I want to get to know you better. All right, I accept. I'll reveal to you my most private secrets. Wow, so that's what's on the other side of these books. I wouldn't have ever guessed that. What the? What are you doing with Lafayette? He said he wanted to see, so I'm showing him. You have no right to stand in the way of his desires. It's my job to protect him as his vessel, especially from someone so wicked as yourself. Also, what you're doing runs contrary to public decency, which is unsupposed to be decent. These bindings with the locks on them. This style used to be really popular during the Meliodas dynasty. Now that I know you're such a bad influence for him, I'll be keeping a closer eye on you. If you can't learn to take it easy, nobody's ever going to want to marry you, you know. Like you're a shining example of marriage material yourself. Hey, Moggy Lou, could you turn them over one more time? I want to see how the books attach to your belt. Yeah, sure. <sighs> uh, anime. Um... I, hey, Moggy Lou, I was wondering about that book you have on your waist. The one you called your heavy book for flower pressing. Yeah, but you said there was an ink blot one? Curiosity truly knows no bounds, does it, kiddo? Okay, nobody else knows this, but since you're so interested, I'd hate to leave you hanging. My heavy book, the one I use for flower pressings, is none other than a collection of Bienfu's poetry. Bienfu likes to write poems? Yep. You'd never guess it, but he's actually just about the best Moloch poet around. Some people even call him the Great Norman Poet. Here, I'll read you my favorite one. If there is something unimportant happening to the East, I'm made to go there and back. If there is something unimportant happening to the West, I'm made to go there and back. I can never rest nor be at peace. Every day my life is a living hell. That's heavy stuff isn't it that's what makes it so good for pressing flowers it's so wonderfully oppressively heavy moggy lou your face has gone all sinister looking
Okay, let's collect baubles. How many baubles are here? Countless. Or well, seven. One of those two numbers. Everyone knows there's only seven numbers. After that, they all get theoretical. Ooh, chest. Um, leave me alone, squid. I should fight something else, been a while. I've got myself a garment. Guess after those conversations. Uh, one deserves a garment. Stay away from me, Snake. Uh, I think I'll attack that squid. So, I, I'm being quiet because I'm thinking about one of those conversations I was forced to uh, listen to. I wasn't forced, I clicked the button, but you know what I mean. Um, so, the thing that makes it sort of weird isn't... Let's move on. Isn't that there was, like, a random fan service scene of Magaloo. Uh, I've come, come to learn to expect that. It's that they always include the little kid... And that kind of um, makes me a little bit uncomfortable, won't I? Um, yeah. What's this? It's a lovely seashell. Buy a chest. Um, let's fight a snake. I'm sorry, snake. It's not a snake, it's a sea serpent. Do they look like snakes? Therefore, I'm sorry to be attacking them. But I need those precious experience points. Probably. I'm not 100% sure about that. You. So yeah, I like I like that they chain add you know they add extra scenes. I mean, it's one of the things people praised the Final Fantasy VII remake for. They did it a little bit more elegantly than this, but this isn't a bad way of doing it. Just having them occasionally just show different windscreens like that. Like I didn't know anything else did that, so yeah, that's really neat. With the characters interacting with each other. It actually works a little bit better than, uh, you know, the, the the visual novel scenes you get, which is just like a button that says, "Do you want to interrupt a game?" Because you're gonna get the victory screen regardless, uh, and it's. I mean, let's think about like storytelling. That moment is about like them, you know, respect, uh, you know, uh, showy. What's the word? you know, uh, reluctant respect for one another, uh, uh, for their skills in combat. And if if they were told to write that scene, that would be a six minute skit. But because it was just the victory screen, it was like four seconds. Saved another cat. Our work here is done. They know how to do elegant storytelling. They just choose not to. Um, hmm. Why does this exist over here? Is it just so I can spy on that chest? No, there's a 
there was no. Yeah, I think that's. That must be why. Well, you know, just a knobbly bit of ground because it looks more realistic. I do uh, also enjoy the idea of getting, like, revenge, but then going, yeah, but let us pick up these lovely seashells along the way. We're, we don't know when we're going to see these beaches again. Wouldn't be a shame to miss them. Hmm. Let me get the chance I should, um... About it, Luffy said. Picking up on anything? Yeah, in the direction of the temple. The feeling's getting stronger now. This, I need to take this off. I can't do it right now. Oh, what's this? Does that teleport me to the start? I don't want to go to the start. We might be able to return. It's, a, it's, a, it's another waistcoat. I. Uh, no, that's just going to return me. Okay. Don't want to annoy the birds. How's the sound? Uh, I think it might be a bit... Uh, it's probably fine. Might be a tad quiet. Hmm. Might be a cutscene here. There's a cutscene I can... Remove this. No, but we must be close. Save a game, of course. Lovely. Bleep, 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 bleep. Have oh, that flower. Some sage. I like my flowers like I, I like my wisdom. Sage. What's this? Demon! <gasps> the demon we heard about? Sounds like it's having fun. Then we'll use this distraction. <laughs> the parrot agrees. Let us enter. Wow, look outside. It's the ocean. This was a place of worship for Amenoch, the water Empyrean. The ancients built this sanctuary underwater for the same reason that Eumacia's temples were built underground. But building this underwater couldn't have been easy. Aye. With the Earth Temples, all they had to do was keep digging. Here, they had water to contend with. How did they do it? You can't split the sea like you can a log. They started by stacking giant stone blocks in the shallows, creating an enclosed space. Then they drained the water and expanded the enclosure. Once they had done that enough times and secured enough dry space, they were able to dig into the sea floor. It's mind-boggling, isn't it? The humans believe that by going through such great hardships to build these temples, they could show the depth of their devotion. Additionally, current research suggests the site of this temple once sat on the seacoast. What? Are you saying I'm wrong? No, I'm only reporting what I've read in academic journals. How would coastal ruins sink into the ocean? When the Empyreans began their slumber, the land shifted, and this temple was swallowed by the sea. Scholars were able to prove that the sand and the heavy stones formed an airtight seal around the structure. Later, people carved an undersea tunnel to connect to the temple, bringing it to its current state. Now that you mention it, I think I read that book too. Revised theories on ancient architecture, right? That's the one. Have you read it, Aizen? No, I only read the first edition. The problem with the stone enclosure theory is that each time you expand the enclosure, the innermost stones have to be carried out. Once that was pointed out as being too inefficient, alternate theories were developed. The revised edition has a number of competing theories. I highly recommend reading it. Uh, I will then. So, wait, was that a complete rebuttal of Eisen's explanation? Th that was not my intention. Ah, uh, it's okay. Archaeology is a continuous process of asking new questions and making new discoveries. 
Prevailing theories change all the time. What's it matter anyway? Let's just get going. Alright, I think I think I might have enjoyed that conversation. There's no Empyrean here, right, Aizen? If you're worried about it, why not flip that coin of his? Heads, no Empyrean. Tails, Empyrean Central. But it always comes up tails. Like I said before, these temples are nothing more than places of worship built by human hands. The current religion started when humans, fearful of natural forces, began to worship four gods they called the Empyreans. If you're concerned about whether or not one is sleeping in these ruins, just remember that their very existence is only legend. Be that as it may, Enominat certainly exists. Aye. But I've never heard a single story of anyone actually seeing an Empyrean. Enominat must be a special case, then. Must be. I suppose so. If there were four yes. more like him, and they were all trying to stop us, we'd be sunk. I can't disagree. No. I tried, but people will stop me. How did we hear a monster? Oh, it's been a while since we... Oh, it's been a few minutes. Come on, really? Ah, waterfalls. I sense a puzzle. Something written on the monolith. The chalice bears a symbol that that command z commands with an S the flowing water. Should the chalice be filled with water and its mark turn blue, the water shall be as a wall to thwart your path. Should the ch chalice be dried by flame and its mark turned white, the impending waters shall shall lie still, opening a path before you. Oh well, could mean anything, couldn't it? Oh, it's one of these things. Well, we fought this before. Why aren't you and Mario? Are we ready for this? That pain up. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Victory is ours. Very elaborate buttons. Yeah, I don't think that required a... Yes, I, I understand how it works, Gab. Ah. 
these things from? One of you. Oh, you've been turned into a uh, demon. I get it. Look at these lasers. This is a laser free zone, thank you very much. Oh, uh, am I actually a little bit quiet compared to the fighting? Okay, I need to put. This game specifically needs side ducking. Um, maybe I'll set up after this. Oh, I fuck! I wasn't, didn't realize I was doing so bad. I thought I was. I thought I was doing great. I also enjoy that she says, I can heal the wounds, but I can't heal the pain. Uh, that's, that's, that's fine. Thanks. See, she said it again. I must do a lot of damage. Not for it, though. Food. Also, we forgot to do this. Oh, some volcano. Scout ships. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else, John? Why did you come in here? Food. I get the chance I'll buy um, like salt and shit. Dark bottle. Is her hair pirate hair? Yes, pirate style. That's what pirate hair looks like, right? There we go, we have the teardrop. Love, love is a verb. Love is a doing word. Fearless on my brain. Teardrops in the fire. Uh, yes. There we go. Fearless. Something I don't remember the lines. It's been a while since I've seen how so all isn't start song. How did the other group get through here and close the doors behind them? Is it a monster? Well, it wiped out the security for us, but... It's got clothing on. Well, look at that. Morphe's got the crest of Amenoch. The same pendant worn by priestesses. Oh, she's got a pendant on. Then that makes this demon. 
Yeah, she must be the missing mother, Mahina. Mother! Didn't need to give the wolf a girl boss. That cheated then. It stretched one part and then when it moved the camera it stretched a different part. To think a priestess, beloved by her village, would become a demon. Eleanor? She's never going to be the same again. This is the least I can do for her. So says Reason. Huh? That feeling! <laughs> Damn! <sighs> Let the demon be. We don't need it. As much as I dislike Eleanor, uh, I do like a storyline. I was going to say, are you going to give me a second one? But I didn't say that because it gave me one. What time is it? Okay. Playing for about an hour. I guess she caught demon blight when she was looking for her daughter. Yeah, that's what the girl at the inn said. But even after turning into a demon, she's still searching for her daughter. Well, Rokuro, Koragane, and Dial all remember what they wanted when they were human, right? Demon or not, she's a mother. It's no surprise she would still be protective of her child. <laughs> mother! Well, I hope that's what it is. I know that must be how she felt as a human, but demons don't have a sense of motherhood or any such thing. You saw how violent she was. She's not Mahina anymore. When she became a demon, she lost all capacity for empathy and love. It's heartbreaking, but it's the truth. Velvet and Rokuro still have empathy. One demon left unchecked could take a hundred lives. And this one's even willing to attack exorcists. Demons can wipe out entire villages, even cities, just as they destroyed my village. <gasps> Thus, Physical gasp. Is clear. Eleanor is right. There's no turning back once you've changed. Perhaps it would be a mercy to grant her peace through death. Huh. Is Inomi not really an Empyrean? What makes you ask that all of a sudden? Well, according to the song Grimm deciphered, Inominat is an eight-headed dragon, right? The Empyreans are supposed to be these holy beings, but using Therians to feed on malevolence sounds more sinister than divine to me. You've got a point there. Empyreans are a type of Malachim, and that doesn't seem like any Malak we've seen. And even less so when we're talking an eight-headed dragon. Is it so far-fetched? 
What do you think will happen if the Therians come together in one place? So I'm, I'm well, brushing my hand against good. the table. My guess is they'd merge together into a giant, horrific monster. The mighty beast will attack us with its eight long, snake-like necks and eight heads spitting hellfire. Uh, I can see your worry. Right? And that's eight heads with only six of us to take them on. It'd be more than we could handle. I'd have to conjure up a double or two. You can do that? Of course not. Then why mention it? Oh! What is it, Lafayette? Do you think each head would act of its own free will? Because if they do, they'd be uncoordinated. Bumping into each other and going this way and that, giving us an opening. If we fight as one united whole, I know we can win. Yes, if we work hand in hand, victory is ours. You right, think everyone? a Hydra would have learned to coordinate though, huh? even if they do have different brains. Us united? Have you looked at us recently? Uh, well, I mean, Maybe. A forward killer. Fuck you, game. I was in the middle of a conversation. Are we ready for this? Why are you worried about these wolves? some sort of trick to it well you could always try busting through it but I wouldn't who knows what sort of traps you might trigger I know I know look at that diamond shaped stone in the door haven't we seen that somewhere else you're right it was on the pedestal with that chalice yeah it's that key thing you must have some sharp eyes there I was more interested in what was inside that chalice so what that chalice is the key somehow I doubt it'll be that simple some stones are colored, and some aren't. It must hold some kind of significance. I think you're right. Reminded of Final Fantasy XII. Ooh. Yes, I, I wonder. Hmm. I wonder what's going to happen in this situation. Could be anything. Uh, which I'll be playing soon enough. Uh, might be a while. I've got 13. Playing 13 first. Then 8. Then 9. Then 10. Then 11. Ooh, 10 11 maybe we'll see whoa a water bridge huh see I didn't realize there was a room I missed.
Come on, really? Be faster! I don't need the entire cutscene every time! Or does the bridge stay? Oh, that's cool. What? Oh, that that doesn't turn off. Okay. The bitch stayed for some reason. So that's neat. I'm not 100% sure I follow the logic, but. Cats! I got a drop earring! Huh. Um. I don't think. Uh, no! Drop earring apparently takes up too much. That red bandana is just too detailed to add any more costume to her. Gemstone has been taken. Quick way down. Uh, yeah, but I, need to, I, I still need to go back in there because. Uh, Ooh, a big... I'm a sick man. We occasionally need to fight some monsters. Knife bottle. We did just use up all of our baubles. Right. To the other side. Leave me alone, hammer. Guess we can save our game as well. It's not exactly the same because that room is cracked, but I guess it's very close. I don't actually know where that is. Was that just over there? I don't. <laughs> I can't tell, but I'm just going to continue walking and hope that it makes sense. Hmm. I don't have the ability. 
Oh dear. Probably shouldn't have done that. I still don't know where that actually is. Ah, oh, it's just there. Guess it doesn't actually make any difference then. What actually matters is this room. Gradient doll. Oh, look at that. That looks gaudy as fuck. <laughs> Does everyone else have new equipment as well? No. The lock of the sacred sealed door is governed by blue and white jewels of the seven chalices. When the jewels of the chalices shine, the jewels of the door uh, shall shine alike. When the seven jewels shine in unison, the way of the inner sanctum shall open. And I wish I did this one first then. What, these ones? Um. Then I better make sure they all shine. Yep. Oh, I can. We will need to be extremely aware. It's very weird to accidentally walk into like a six on six gang fight. Indeed. Um, so there's nothing in there. So two are shining right now. If I understand this correctly. Uh, four are shining. So we need the tears. The tears are back there. You know what, I'll just double check to the left. It won't hurt that much.
Because yeah, they're all diamonds, John. You're looking for tears. I mean, that's what that teleport was for. I can't get through here. But perhaps if I do this and turn that on, then it'll change. So I might be able to just walk forwards. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, that'll do it. a diamond not a teardrop This is an actual puzzle. I can't remember which side has the teleporter. Guys, get across. I don't know where the other tears are. Come back, lift. Maybe it's further back. I did straight up did not see that one. Probably should use that as then. This exists. Oh, hang on, no, this just lets him get the chest. I swear I left this on. Okay, I skipped that, but I assumed it was telling me the door was open. Oh, 
Scout. Scout ship setting sail. All right, Vanif. That's better. I feel the power coming from further inside. Hmm, how very intriguing. So many waistcoats. Because we're pirates, see? Makes sense. It's a tree. Let's let's go fight tree. Oh, I found the child. Sound like it's having a great time. Oh, is that a Therion? That barrier again. Looks like we were right. Another Therion. Just as Velvet conjectured, each of the seven heads seems to assume a different form. The sensation! It was here! Well, look at that. I guess your hunt panned out too, kiddo. This is just how I felt in Ward Forest. That must have been an Earth Pulse point back there, too. Well, what are we going to do with this one? Can we get it to shrink like that bug of yours? I don't care whether it lives or dies. As long as we defeat it and take out one of Inominat's heads, that's all that matters. Power agrees. I mean, it's, presumably it's going to turn back into a kid. Staying out the way of its lasers. That is, I think, the ugliest weapon in any RPG I've ever seen. Suffering from fatigue as well. Megalo, return the favor. Circle, don't I? Let me swap out the injured people. Here. 
Uh, we are low on life bottles. No! Not let me switch. Oh, she immediately fucking died again. I know she heals by having items, uh, by having damage done to enemies, in you know, vampiric style, but I was getting nervous. Um, okay, a bunch of stuff is just straight up ineffective then. Um, Sort of guard going on right now. Thank you. Let me switch him out. He's got no health. I went burnt for my life. Um. Hmm. I'd really like us to try again, because like a. Or quit, you know, because I, I can't win this without all four characters, right? Hmm. Yeah, I don't. I, one thing I don't like about JRPGs is they know it can be impossible in fights, they never let you quit and start again in fights. Like, a retry option would be grand, and I don't know why they never give you that. change the order I'll do what I can hmm Thank you. 
Does it do that? Why does it move me both things? First aid is really useful though, so I'm giving that one on. Um, as well. I, uh, part of me tempted to just constantly use those new ones. I guess it's because I'm using them, so they, ne they never actually get used. No, a bunch of them have actually. Swimming circle. Um, yeah, that's why I wanted to win. Fire is probably a good idea, rather than water, because it, it'd be... It, it, it'd be a, a, a monster. It's been used loads. Tom John.
That'll do. More importantly, I'm just going to try and keep up. Try not to let it eat you. Mm. That would be very uncomfortable. That, I don't know what it does, but I don't like it. Someone died already. Let me fucking switch.
Damn. That was really annoying. Yep, I did walk into a laser then as well. Much better. I don't think this Therian's getting any smaller. Werewolf. Because it's clearly the child. This would be sad if I didn't see it coming coming from mile away. Malevolence must refer to demons then. So like she can eat demons. I know what that's like. Is you Therian as well? That's why they kept her alive. this sacrifice stuff, don't they? I can't believe it. That... that woman... she was trying to Ooh, save hello, her daughter. <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> Mommy! I miss you. We're saving people. Mommy! <laughs> yes. I'm unable to save her daughter. No, this, this is my fault. This would be sad if I didn't see this entire plot point coming so, as soon as we entered the area. Someone like her will only slow us down. We're pirates now. That Therian isn't going anywhere. Oscar, what is the Abbey doing? Please tell me, I have to know! He's an honorary pirate because he's got an eye covered. The less you know, the better. I must know! I killed her mother, and then the poor girl, she... Ah, so she must have devoured the demon. But don't let that trouble you. 
The demon was a necessary sacrifice to bring an end to this world's pain. I think so. Yeah, the bangs weren't a part of the costume. Those who possess strong wings must... It's not nice to make a girl cry. <laughs> Mommy! Kamawana. It's now or never. Out of the way, Lafayette. said. Wait! Have you no compassion? This isn't up for discussion. I thought you just wanted to weaken a nominat! You can sever the link! You don't have to kill her! It's being very dramatic right now. We have the powers of God and anime. We don't have to kill them. Oh, someone's had a change of heart. Apparently, a woman's tears truly do have frightening power. I'm just curious about something Grimoire said. I can always kill this one later. If we're taking her with us, we'd better grab her and go. No sense lingering in the enemy's territory. Magalu, just vibing. Hey, Kamawana. My name's Lafayette. Do you want to come with me and my friends and get out of here? Where's my mommy? I'll be lonely without her. You're not alone, sweetie. I promise. Even if she's far away, your mother will always be looking out for you. How do you know? Because... That's what my mother does for me, too. Let's go, Kamawana. Okay. I've somewhat undermined the sadness. So, uh, to explain what happened, actually happened in the scene, um, uh, that, ch that child got turned into a monster, but he's, the child's mother also got turned into a demon, and that monster he just, ate, just ate that demon and didn't know. But also, it wasn't that sad, because we meet the werewolf woman first, and it's really, really obvious how that story is going to play out. Like, immediate, like, I didn't even need to see the monster to design. It was very clear that the, uh, Therian was going to be the child that she... Uh, anyway, uh, the actual plot, I guess, because we, the, the villain, uh, has, uh, how do I, thought, I'm just going to press the A button, I'll explain in a second. Oh my word, um... It's, that's probably a good thing. I'm just going to click past it. Right. Ooh. So yes, we are we are now pirates. What happened to you? So yes, the first half of the game, we went to get our generic anime revenge because, um, oh the the the, the obvious villain, which I've forgotten his name. Let's call him Rupert. Um. Uh, raised, like, helped raise us because we were, like, not orphans, but our parents were dead. Uh, and her and her brother! Um, and then at the last minute, he, he so he trained her, Rupert did, it's not called Rupert, uh, in sword fighting, and then sacrificed her, her brother. Because we live in a world where demons are like an illness that can, you, you know, one person in the town becomes a demon and they'll, they'll either eat the other humans or it'll spread. It's called the demon blight. And so he sacrificed her brother to uh, save the world from the demon blight. But there's clearly something else going on. Um, so we, we we managed to fight him. 
and then he summoned... But you see, not only are there demons, there are also Malakim, which is, you know, just a word for an angel. And so the uh, the Abbey, they can summon little psychic people. Some of them look like Lafacette. Eisen's technically a Malakim as well, but he's just grown up. They don't tend to have personalities because they're used as tools, but they're sometimes obnoxious teddy bear people. In fact, um, that's that's a Norman, which is a race of uh, monster people. But for some reason, we have giant Norman costumes. Um, but yeah, uh, like, and they're also they tend to be Malakim. Um, anyway, but the main villain has a Malakim as well, called Inomenat, which is a name so good, I decided. Um, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, uh, unfortunately, the only way to get the pirate costumes is to buy them or find a way around that. I'm not going to say which one of those I did. Anyway, um, so yes, Anomenat is a name so good that I looked it up and yes, it has a, it has a meaning. It's already a word because I was like, that's a too good. That's a too good of a name. Um, so yes, we don't get to see what Inominat looks like yet. I shall, um, hydrate. Uh, but we got teleported. Uh, I'm drinking Lucasaid Alert Cherry Blast. It's very nice. Uh, there are magical tunnels that use magical space. Uh, and then we did, basically we're doing research on Rupert. He's not called Rupert. And Inominat, he is called Inominat. And a nomad is a, a, a eight-headed god, but each head is actually represented by a random person monster type in a world called a Therian. Um, and we realized Therians can look like anything, but they tend to be in like these magical spaces so you can track them down. And once you beat them up, they turn small and that's a head defeated. Uh, so it's pretty, sh so she is clearly a Therian. We've just discovered the Therians eat demons i.e. the thing she's been doing all game. So we found a bug that was a Therian. We've just found this tree monster that's a Therian. And that's where we are. But it's clear they turned a normal child into that monster because a priestess was looking for her child. Uh, yeah, this this temple isn't even to a nomad. There were like four other actual gods in the world, but they're all kind of myth gods, um, which we don't know if they're real or not. So the, the Abbey just sort of kicked them all out and started using this temple. But yeah. The, that's uh, literally right before we left the village. Uh, some random NPC said, Oh yeah, some priestess went to look for a child. And as soon as I saw the priestess as a werewolf monster, Oh no, she's turned into a demon. We should kill her to let her out of misery. It's like, okay, the Therian's a child. It's pretty obvious where that's going. But yeah, that's where the plot is. Um, and yes, there's also... So uh, Lafacette is named after Velvet's brother. Uh, she accidentally gave him that name because... Lafset looks just like her brother. It definitely isn't her brother. Although Lafset is special, he does have uh, unknown powers. Uh, so maybe there's something up with that. Um, but yes. Yeah, she called out like during a dramatic moment. And he's like, why did you call me that? And he's like, that's your name now? Because he didn't have a name. Uh... Like, the only reason Aizen's got a name because he escaped ages ago. He's like a pirate. Uh, uh, Rokru's after his brother, who's secretly trying to train him, but the game hasn't told us that yet. His brother's obviously secretly a good guy. Uh, Eleanor's obviously going to learn that the Abbey's evil. Uh, I'm pretty sure Magalu is secretly like a thousand years old, because of course. Uh, and Aizen... Oh yeah, I said about Aizen before. Uh, Aizen's a bit boring as well, to be honest. What am I doing now? Yes. Uh, return to Grimoire. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gr so, Grimoire. Well, you'll meet Grimoire in a second. Uh, can I teleport? It would be nice. Yes, he does. Not 
Good. The malevolence is getting stronger. My, my. The effects are already starting to show. Yeah, it's like Magaloo's design. Um, let's put her in her normal clothing while I talk about this. Uh, um, it's kind of <laughs> the, the bandana. Uh, it's kind of generic. I mean, it's literally the face model and stuff like that. Um, and obviously the the clothing silly as fuck. Um, so it's it's it is literally the voice doing a lot of the work, and, and not just the voice, the actions she takes. But like, if you remove that, the actual like specific, specifically the face, because she's got a very generic anime girl face. Um, but yeah, uh, so the acting is pushing that a lot. The, the character, actually, I guess this costume does something. It's still silly as fuck, but um. Uh, uh, I, I did for, 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 I did consider just going ah, I'm not really sure but I'll go with a pirate and then I, I, got, I got this costume as well but that's all fine they've all got to be pirates um, what was we wearing no she's got a they've clearly all got specific hats although she can have that uh, red bandana yeah which is clearly designed for her um I've got access to all the DLC, um, though, you know, I've no plans to go around as, as, as uh, students, which is apparently a costume that needs to be in every uh, JRPG. But, like, we're in a sort... We've been, like, pirating on boats and we're uh, tropical islands, so it seemed suitable. And it would have been a really nice thing for the game to just give us as, like, a normal game reward. Uh, or even one of those mini games, but no, no, they want you to pay up cash. Which I mean, I may or um, you know, there's there's certainly a possibility that I did that. Okay, I went somewhere. I had to click quickly. Um. Because of bird, uh, I, I don't know where I am right now. Ooh. I swear it gave me a choice. Oh wow, never mind. Nope, it looks like you can walk over there. Uh, I guess that would be a foolish course of action. Grab these cats aren't going to rescue themselves for some reason. Because you'd think once I let about ten of them out of a box, they could start helping each other. No, let's go the correct direction. Leave me alone, Naga. I have no quarrel with you. Hmm.
What time is it? Almost 11. Huh. That's odd. Yeah, there's um, Grimoire. Hey, what's up? Did you come to share something else you found in that book? Not quite. I'm afraid the malevolence has grown too dense for me to hole up at the inn reading. Malevolence? Yes, I know that from Fatal Frame. <laughs> They're all hitting their limits. It's never anything good. No one, no one's ever said, "What's that coming out of their bodies?" It's fruit gums. Yay! Demon blight. You know, apart from maybe with the um, the, the where you they hit the the thing and the, the fruit. Even the end girl. Why is this happening? They're demons now. Their malevolence is spilling over. The malevolence. All of that energy spilling from their bodies. That's what causes the demon blight? Do you know what demon blight really is? What demons are? They couldn't have gotten far. Track them down at all costs. We'll talk later. The exorcists are going to have their hands full with these demons. Let's get back to the ship while we can. <laughs> 